this video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the OCalc LE management plugin that can be used in the OCalc Pro desktop application to set up projects and assign collectors for use in OCalc LE. The first step is ensuring the OCalc LE management plugin is installed and enabled. For additional instructions on how to install plugins, please see our OCalc Pro YouTube channel. Once the LE management plugin is enabled, you'll see this additional tab appear in your OCalc Pro desktop application. Within this tab, you'll be able to create projects and assign collectors that can be used in OCalc LE. The first thing that we can do under our administration tab is set an image folder. This is where photos that are collected or that need to be associated with a specific poll can be placed and then grabbed later on. We can select set image folder where we can then navigate to a folder where we're going to place most of our images. The next thing that we can do is create a project. Under our projects tab, you can see there are several options. By selecting add project, we can create a new one and then just hit accept. And you'll see that that project is added to your list with the project status of staged. To make Project B active, we first have to select it from our drop-down list up here. As we can see, it is not included in this list, so to refresh this list, we have to actually log out of our OCALC LE Management plugin, under Administration, Log Out, and then sign back in. Once we sign back in, we'll see that Project B appears in our list. So we can select Project B, navigate back to our Projects tab, and change our project status to active. Then you'll see this change in your project status listed here. Once the project is active, the next step would be to assign collectors for that project. By selecting your project and choosing assign collectors, you will get this additional pop-up which lists all of your available collectors and those that have already been assigned to a project. In this case, we don't have any collectors assigned, so I can select a collector from the list and use my right arrow to move them over to the list of assigned collectors and then finish by hitting this button down here. And now I have one collector assigned to this project. Next, I'm going to want to assign the configuration file that I've created. For additional information on creating a configuration file for Ellie, please see our OCUC Pro YouTube channel. Making sure my project is selected, I can choose the Schema option, and then select Schema Manager. Then I'll get this pop-up window here where I can upload a configuration. And I will select this configuration file that I created in a previous video. Then I can see that it's added to my list as a stage schema, so I can set it as an active configuration. And it will change to active. Also, I can view that configuration if I want, where I will get a pop-up uh, text file which gives me some additional information. So once I'm all finished, I can close this window. And then I've completed all the steps necessary to start collecting for Project B. What you can also do in the OCalc LE Management tab is to create collectors if you don't already have them available. Under this Collector tab, I can see that I've got some collectors already created. To add a new one, I would just choose Add Collector and do Add New Collector to a Customer. And here I could just enter some information about my new collector. And then hit create user. And then I'll see that this collector is added to my list. If I wanted to change any of the information about that collector, I can use my edit collector option to update their info or reset their password if they've forgotten it or for some reason it's not working. Once you've 
created your collectors and assigned them to a specific project and you've collected your information for a poll in the field, you can then access that information under your analysis tab. Right now I can see that I don't have any collected information in this list, but I can see that I have 19 credits available. So if I take a moment to submit a poll and then hit my refresh option, I can see the poll that I've just collected. Then what I can do is, once I make sure this is the one that I want to process, I can select process analysis. And OCALC will then model the poll that I've collected for me. I can see in this example, I just collected a crossing poll with a street light on it. But then I can go back to my OCALC LE management tab after I've saved the structure that I'm currently modeling. And I can proceed to process any additional structures that I've collected for this project. Within the analysis window, it's also possible to view your collected data your analysis location, contents, or any images that are associated with this poll. For example, if I view my collected data, I can see this window, which is similar to the testing window under the OCALC LE configuration plugin, where I can see all the data I've collected about this poll, including all of my targets, which would be my bays, the types of spans that I've collected, as well as any attachments, a top view, a side view, and also a simple 3D view, as well as the results, including what my capacity, capacity utilization is. When viewing any of the records for the collected polls that are included in this list, it's possible to filter that list by only all of them, or only the new ones. It's also possible to filter by date. And finally, any user who is doing the processing for collected polls can review a list of new polls that are coming in by selecting this refresh option, which will consistently bring in any new polls that have been submitted out in the field.